Do you tend to be over optimistic with the amount of things you can accomplish within a given time frame? Welcome to Mindset Monday. I'm Amanda De Silva, and today we're going to discuss the three habits that will boost your productivity and also help you become more disciplined. So before we get started with the content of our video, I wanted to draw your attention to a freebie that I've designed especially for you because I was recently interviewed for a podcast and I'm constantly asked, how do you do it all? So I've designed this 14 page guide and it is finding the perfect work-life balance to stay sane and organized. In here, you are going to find exactly the methods that I use and the topics that I um, you know, focus on to nurture relationships, to invest in your mental well-being, to stay organized, to make your physical health a priority, to set smart goals. And I've also included self-care for you, uh, a self-care tracker that you can print out and a self-care reflection at the very end. So it's your own guide that you can use to channel all of your energy and develop more habitual practice and self-discipline to boost your productivity. So go to my website at www.amanda-desilva.com and you can click under freebies and you will find it right there. So the three habits that I wanna share with you that will help you boost your productivity and become more disciplined is number one, time block your schedule. Number two, turn up. And number three, tie in social connection. Number one is time block your schedule. And like that typical to-do list where you just write down everything that you need to get done, time blocking allows you to allocate when you are going to do each specific task so that you are not distracted by other things. This time blocking practice allows you to plan every moment in your day so that you are dedicating varying time blocks for specific tasks and chores and responsibilities. So let's walk through the process of establishing your own time blocking system. Step one, identify your high level priorities. Step two, create a template for your day. Step three, decide how much time each task requires. And step four, set aside some flexible time. Step one is determine your high level priorities. What comes with time blocking is making sure that you put the things that matter most to you first in your calendar in those time blocks. That could be spending less time on email, maybe focusing more on a specific task that you need to get done, or just tweaking your work schedule so that you have more time to spend with loved ones and family. Doing this will make you way more efficient with your time. Step two, create a template for your day. Now you can start actually time blocking in your schedule. Whether you use a computer or you use an old school calendar but with paper and pen like I do, you can choose even colors and look at a typical day so that you can put your morning routine, your evening routine in there, and then also time block things like work time, family time, leisure time, anything else that you need to put in there, exercise time, um, and, and create a typical day and a schedule. Step three, decide how much time each task requires. So it's time to put a rough estimate of time on each task that you have. Be as realistic as you can and make sure that you cut out the time wasted on distractions. So you don't necessarily need to have every time window determined to the minute, but put together an approximate to begin with and tweak your blocks from there. Step four, put aside some flexible time in your schedule. Why do you need to do this? Well, it's usually those times when you have the, I need to get this done at this moment in the schedule built in with no wiggle room that emergencies pop up. And then you start to get frazzled and you feel overwhelmed. So make sure you have a little bit of flexible time built into your schedule. The next habit to help you become more disciplined as well as more productive is turn up. So becoming more disciplined is a process and it is a demanding one at that, we all know. So having a set schedule with specific time blocks and a detailed to-do list is a great way to establish and maintain better habits. With that said, boosting your productivity and increasing your work performance is more than just planning. You need to be ready to turn up and show up each day, ready to inspire others to complete the work that you need to do because if you're not motivated to do the work and turn up, then you won't cultivate that discipline. And we know that attitude is everything. Attitude determines your altitude in life. And so you need to turn up and show up ready to be there, ready to be present and inspire those around you. Number three, the last habit is tie in social connection. 
We know that your attitude is deeply rooted in your mindset, the way that you see the world and how you perceive obstacles and drawbacks. So surrounding yourself with inspirational and positive people can have so much influence on your productivity levels and your self-discipline. The social connections that you make and the synergy that is created when you have those social connections in those times, it empowers you and others to rise to a whole nother level. And when you have a team that is working together, any stressors that come your way, you're more able to tackle those challenges. And when challenges arise, you see them as a learning opportunity and something you can find a solution for together. Now as an activity for you, let's just go over the three habits to boost productivity and become more disciplined. And if you have a journal, please write these in and do this activity at home. Number one, time block your schedule and use those four steps that I talked about to create a template for your day. Number two, turn up because we know that when you show up and you're prepared to tackle whatever challenges come your way, that winning attitude can impact your coworkers as well. And number three, make sure that you tie in social connection because positive communication not only makes you an excellent collaborator, but it also expands your horizons and it pushes you outside your comfort zone. So in conclusion, through time blocking your day, turning up and tying in social connection, you will see a boost in productivity, your self-confidence, and just self-discipline in general. So I hope that these three habits will help you greatly in planning your next day, your next week, your next month, and your next year. If you like this Mindset Monday, please go to www.amanda-desilva.com where you can find the freebies that I referenced at the beginning of this video. You can find other helpful um, and useful tools. You can find my courses and my coaching services as well as the blog that accompanies this video and sign up for my newsletters as well. Click below where you see the subscribe button and subscribe to this YouTube channel so that each week when I upload a new Mindset Monday, you are alerted and you are part of my community. Thank you for sharing this space with me.